Bioinformatics is a multidisciplinary research focusing on different fields of biology, statistics, mathematics, engineering, computer science, and biochemistry. So we are going to quickly go through about the bioinformatics, how it is used in different fields, and what is the main aspects of this bioinformatics field. So it mainly focuses on the analysis, collection, classification, manipulation, recovery, storage, and visualization of all biological information with the help of a computational technology and uh, NCBI, so National Center for Biotechnological Information. So this particular organization is involved in the field of bioinformatics. So any kind of new discoveries will be automatically reported to this NCBI and all available databases can be directly fetched from this NCBI website. A National Institute of Health. So this particular National Institute of Health is also coming under NCBI and any kind of new emerging diseases or any information will be reported to this NIH. So this particular bioinformatics, it came into existence in the year 1990s. So mainly it focuses on the detailed structures of DNA, RNA and protein sequences and all the information that is related to the DNA, RNA or protein or any particular biological sample can be directly dealt with the help of bioinformatics too. So the gene expression profiles and protein structure was the most important application of the bioinformatics in the 1990s. And these are all the different kinds of definitions we can uh, give for the field of bioinformatics. And it was uh, in the year 1970, this particular uh, application was introduced. And then now we have different kinds of improvements in the field of bioinformatics. So bioinformatics mainly focuses on the sequences of DNA, RNA or any particular biological samples and these are all the steps which are involved in the sequencing. So now what are all the available data sources that can be fetched from the bioinformatics are the DNA, protein sequences, macromolecular structures and complete structures of genomics, gene expression studies, and other kind of any particular research can be uh, cited with the help of the bioinformatics tools. So any particular basic research can be finished or completed easily with the help of bioinformatics tool. So any kind of information for the available research can be easily fetched from the bioinformatics softwares. So how the bioinformatics tool was used in the 1990s and now it is uh, transformed into a very different uh, strategy where any kind of complexity that is in the biological systems can be easily taken up with the help of the bioinformatics tool. So now we are going to focus on different kinds of bioinformatics softwares that is readily available. And what are all the steps or basic concepts and the uses of the bioinformatics tool we are going to see one by one. So mainly we are going to focus on gene bank, EMBL, ESD, NCBI, PubMed, Entris, Blast, Swissport and FASTA. So these are all the uh, available bioinformatics tools that are available easily and any kind of person who is doing research or the, into the field of bioinformatics can easily access this kind of softwares. And this particular gene bank, it is a genetic sequence database and all the available sequences can be directly fetched from this particular uh, bioinformatics tool. So all the organizations which are doing research under the genomics will be directly dealt to the gene bank and any kind of new discoveries also will be available in this particular gene bank. So one particular example uh, is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So this particular uh, gene, that is the gene analysis of the Saccharomyces cerevisiae was first given example under gene bank and uh, all the uh, genetic studies can be easily fetched from this particular website. And any new discoveries will be reported to the gene bank every two months and directly we can fetch the results from this particular gene bank website. So this is the overall outlook of the gene bank. 
So here we can just go and type in this search button. So if we want to go for taking out the protein structures here, we can search for protein. And this particular uh, thing is for lambda bacteriophage. So any kind of formats can be easily taken up. Here you have the entrance pattern and uh, this is the output of the bacteriophage. So this, this is how the result will be appearing. And each and every number or the codes that are given in this bioinformatics tool will be having one particular meaning and then we have to read our results. So what are all the available uh, sequences which we can fetch is we can go for complete nucleotide analysis, protein analysis, genomic structures, then we have taxonomical analysis and we can also go for different kinds of research articles that is available in the gene bank. So how do we go for accessing this gene bank? So we have to go for text based keywords. So here we have to go for typing our particular research work. We can directly go and type it in that particular website and then right side we have the uh, references how the particular gene bank results will be available. So here we have the locus definition, accession number, source from which it is taken, what are all the authors who are doing work in that particular research article and how the research journals, how many journals are available in that. In all the complete analysis of that particular Saccharomyces cerevisiae will be displayed. So this is one particular example. It is for easy understanding I have quoted. And next we are going into the EMBL. So EMBL is also a bioinformatics tool that is the expansion is Euro, European Molecular Biology Laboratory. So this particular EMBL is also a combination. So already I have told there, is, there are different bioinformatics softwares. So all this is interrelated. So it is coming from, it is operating from five different uh, areas, Heidelberg, then it is uh, European Bioinformatics Institute. Then we have the laboratories in Germany, France, Rome. So all these laboratories, whoever is doing research work, if they are finding any new informations, it will be directly reported to this EMBL. And it is mainly helpful for the persons who are doing uh, research in the molecular biology. And uh, the nucleotide sequences databases also can be easily accessed. So this is the website where all the databases can be easily purchased. So this EMBL, it will be integrating all the different laboratories and it will be controlling all the uh, new informations which are available in the different kinds of biology and uh, molecular biology databases will be predominant in this particular EMBL. And uh, the formats in which the results can be taken is uh, from the FASTA format or from the BLAST. So BLAST is for protein. So next we are going to focus on EST. So EST is also one of the bioinformatics tool. So it mainly focuses on the DNA sequences. So shortly we are calling it as EST. So it mainly focuses on the expressed sequence tags. So any kind of uh, parental DNA or the cDNA which we are creating for our research work or if you want to purchase a primer or any new information, easily it can be taken up from the EST. So this is the overall uh, structures of the gene. So in if you are going to take a particular gene, so it will have all the available gene sequences. It will have the 5-N, 3-N, introns and exons. And if you are going to create a particular complementary DNA, that also can be generated. And uh, ESTs can be directly taken up from this particular pool. So how far this particular EST is having applications? So mainly it will be focusing on discovering new genes. So if we are going for identification of any new gene, so easily it can be fed into this particular bioinformatics tool and the results can be interpreted. And mainly it is also used for creating genomic maps and all the uh, genomic sequences completely, the uh, 
overall outlook of any particular gene can be easily fetched from this EST. So here we, we will be able to analyze what are all the steps that is involved in this EST. So first of all, we have to isolate the mRNA. So if we are taking a tissue for our research work, so from the tissue, mRNA has to be isolated and then we are going for addition of primers. So oligonucleotides are nothing but the short stretch of DNA sequences. So if we are going for creating a complementary DNA, so we have to generate that complementary DNA. Then we have to go for separation with the help of electrophoresis. And finally, we are going to analyze the complete structure of the DNA with the help of EST. So ESTs will be generated. So here we can see what is the complete structure of this particular gene, how it is going for the splicing process. And finally, the EST sequences will be resembling like this. So this is the overall procedure what they are doing in the DST. So next is NTRES. So NTRES is also a bioinformatics tool. So this particular NTRES, it will mainly operate based on the Boolean operation. Okay. And then here we will be able to see the overall outlook of NTRES, how it is appearing. So we can go for uh, finding out different kinds of nucleotides, proteins, genomic structures, taxonomical research, single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs. So any kind of structures of DNA, RNA or proteins can be easily taken up from this NTRES. So it is a integrated search tool and this is also coming under NCBI and it is not a database. So it is a search engine which will integrate all the informations from a particular DNA, RNA or a protein. So how it is going for creating a three-dimensional three structures, protein structures can be easily analyzed with the help of BLAST. And finally, after all the research work is over, how the phylogenetic analysis is also helping in uh, finding out the taxonomical data for that particular organism or a plant or any particular biological material can be also interpreted with the help of interest. So this is the uh, outlook of the entrance. So this is how the format of the entrance will be appearing. And uh, here, if we want to go for searching a nucleotide, so we, here we have to go and search it as nucleotide and down we can see Homo sapiens. So this is one example that is listed out. So the complete analysis of the particular uh, thing which we are typing in the search button will be displayed. So next is BLAST. So BLAST is basic local assignment search tool. So this is for interpreting the protein structures. So primary, secondary and tertiary structures of proteins can be displayed and uh, this is how the results will be displayed and we will be having different values for this BLAST. So the protein structures will be having different kinds of sequences which will go and hit it and then we will be having these scores depending upon the protein structures. So this is how the protein sequence will be appearing. So how the BLAST uh, will be displaying the outputs. So the outputs of BLAST will be displayed either in HTML format or XML format and uh, this will be operated under the NCBA and the graphical representations of the proteins or uh, any particular biological sample will be represented with the help of graphical formats also. And we have different kinds of alignments for the sequences and the results can be interpreted with the help of the BLAST scores. And scoring matrix, so how it is interpreted is, it is based on the similarity. So we have two different proteins so the both the proteins are similar it is having similar kind of sequences it will have one particular value so if two proteins are similar it will give one particular value it will be interpreted as both the proteins are similar so we have two different samples and if it is dissimilar the score will be different and we, with the help of the score we will be able to interpret that the given protein samples are different 
So depending upon the blast score, depending upon the matrix score, we will be able to interpret our results. So how this blast is performing or how it is working is depending upon the steps that are quoted on the algorithm. So we have a step by step procedure. So depending upon that the blast uh, will be operating and it will have two different sequences, query sequences and uh, query sequence will be smaller in length in case of multiple sequences. So if it is a larger multiple protein sequence, the query sequence will be displayed as smaller in size and the scoring matrix will be represented as HSP and this particular blast is mainly for comparing the protein sequences from any kind of biological samples. So this is one example how the results of the blast will be interpreted. So for example if our protein samples are like this if these protein P and protein G are similar so they will have one particular diagrammatic representation like this. It is similar to a cladogram that we see in the phylogenetic tree. So like that, there will be a representation from the BLAST tool. So we have different BLAST tools for DA proteins. Nucleotide BLAST is there, protein BLAST is there. And if there is larger number of query sequence, we can use a bioinformatics tool which is called as mega blast. So if the proteins are even very larger, we can go for using mega blast. Next is FASTA. So FASTA is also a bioinformatics tool where we can go for comparing the protein sequences, DNA sequences and how the format of the FASTA result will be either in the text based format or it will be represented like the codes given here. So for example, if we have a sequence like this, LCBO. So this is how the results will be interpreted. So this LCBO denotes a prolactin precursor. So the protein sample which is given is taken from the bovine. So it is denoting prolactin precursor and then there will be different kinds of sample sequences which are listed out or it will be displayed on the FASTA format. So this is also another example. So how the FASTA will be working is it will have a header sequence, it will have a description line, it will have an identifier line and uh, there will be some unique identifier sequences are also there and if there are different gaps that are found in the proteins, so that also will be denoted which is called as a gap character. So how the FASTA results will be displayed is it will be displayed like this JC2395, NV, SD, VN, LK. So all these alphabets which are listed out will be denoted to one particular source. So any kind of source can be easily interpreted with the help of the FASTA format. And these are all the uh, amino acid sequences which will be displayed on the FASTA format. So the algorithm was developed by Freddie and Barton. So mainly the different kinds of applications which are related to the FASTA are identification of species, phylogenetical analysis, DNA mapping, understanding the biochemical functions, evolution of species, identification of different kinds of mutations, calculating the molecular weights of different protein samples, identifying specific functions of sequences. Then we have SwissPort. So SwissPort is a database of protein sequences and it is mainly managed by EBI, European Bioinformatics Institute. And the website is given here. We can go and search whatever protein sample we want. We can go and directly into this website and we can fetch the results from this particular Swiss port. So this is the uh, uh, scope of bioinformatics. So bioinformatics already I have told it is a multidisciplinary research. So any kind of research work will be supplemented with a bioinformatic tool result, genomic analysis, evolutionary biology, then we have gene expression, proteomics, analyzing the complete DNA sequences. So all these applications are easily available on the bioinformatics tools 
and this is also playing a major role in designing the different kinds of drugs for the emerging diseases so these are all the different kinds of fields which are interrelated with the bioinformatics genetics genomics proteomics phylogenetics metabolomics systems biology structural analysis molecular modeling pathway analysis so all these fields are directly related to the bioinformatics